Last December, we ran a sweepstakes asking all of our trailblazers out there to share some of your most impactful learnings from your experience with transitioning to Lightning. Well, you shared some excellent tips, and we're going to be surfacing some of those tips today on Lightning Strikes. Lightning experience makes my job so much easier because users love it, and it's so much prettier than classic. Lightning experience makes my job easier because components like path and flow guide users through important business processes without ever leaving a record page. From customizable home pages to the cross object fields on a record page to the guided paths on opportunities, we've already seen an increase in productivity and adoption. Lightning is truly staying true to its name because we found that it is lightning faster than classic. If you're wondering if Lightning is right for you or if you're ready to make the move, don't hesitate. Make the switch. You're going to love it. Here he comes. Woohoo! Here comes Lightning Man. Hello, everyone. I'm Kelly Walker, Senior Adoption Consultant. This Lightning Strikes episode is all about using the power of the Lightning platform to set your users up for success. Here's the Lightning Strikes tip of the day. Set component visibility to streamline the exposed components based on criteria of your choosing. I have some guests with me who will be sharing tips and best practices for setting your users up for success. Now let's go to one of our awesome trailblazers and lightning champions, Chris Helvax. Chris is on the line to share with us how he uses the component visibility filter when customizing page layouts for his users. Howdy, my name is Chris Helvax and I'm the digital marketer at Superior Bulk Logistics. You can use component visibility to display components when the timing makes the most sense. For example, in our lead process, we require our users to submit an approval before they can convert that lead. Now, it makes no sense for our users to have to see that approval history related list until they've actually reached the status where the approval goes off in the background. So by hiding that component and that related list, it's allowing our users to be more focused on what they need to be successful. So to do this, we need to go to the uh, Lightning App Builder and Setup. And then we'll hit Edit Lightning Page. And from our Lightning components, we're going to drag and drop in the related list single over here on the right side. We'll then select approval history from the related list. And at the bottom, this is how we set the visibility, meaning when this component will show up. So we'll say add a filter. And we want to change the field to be the lead status. And we want it to display once the user has entered the custom code, custom code request. That is when our approval rule is sent off in the background. So we'll select done and we'll hit save. So let's go check that out on the record page and see what it looks like. So here we have a lead record, Beth Fields, and we see we're in the contacted stage. And over here on the right hand side, we're not seeing that approval related list. But once we enter customer code requested, mark as our status, we can see just like magic, the approval role history related list component is now displaying at the top of our page. Thanks, Chris, for showing us that. Now let's go to another one of our trailblazers for another sweet tip. Hi, my name is Mihail Amurashan and I work as a Salesforce specialist at a company called Eigenzone and they are a solar energy startup based here in the lovely Berlin, Germany. The feature I will be demoing today is a lightning only feature that has made it very easy for our users to both see and update information on related records all throughout Salesforce. 
We're going to be doing this by leveraging the power of quick actions. And this is a great feature if you want fewer clicks for your users and also better data quality long term. The first thing we need to do is make sure we have an update action on the related record. So in our case, I'm going to create an update action on the account by going into setup, object manager, selecting account, and then creating my update action. Make sure the action type is update a record, give it an intuitive name, maybe update billing details, clicking save, and then adding the fields you want your users to be able to edit directly from the opportunity page. I'm going to remove the fields that were added by default, and I'm going to choose billing address instead. Click save, yes, and then that's it. My update action is created. I'm now going to go back to my opportunity page and then edit the lightning page. So if I go into the cogwheel and then edit page, I am now able to select from the components list, the related record component, which I can drag and drop anywhere I want on the page. I'm just going to put it in between these two other um, uh, related record components here and then just update its details. So first of all, the lookup field is going to be the account name since I'm editing the account and then select the update action I've just created. You can also enter a more intuitive header label, maybe billing details. And then that's it. Press save. Go back to your opportunity page and admire your work. You can now see here the billing details pulled straight from the account. But even more importantly, your users can also edit them directly from an opportunity page. This is a great feature that will increase transparency, data quality, and most importantly, drastically reduce the number of clicks a user has to go through in order to make an edit to a related record. Wow, that was awesome. Now let's hear from one of our product managers, Michael Gonzalez, about using the power of the platform to customize Lightning pages. Thanks, Kelly. Now, one of the great parts about Lightning Experience is that you can go in and you get to customize the apps and the pages with clicks and not code. So let's take a look at the page that we have in front of us here. I've gone ahead and I've done a lot of this customization already. I have a custom component up on the top that's a banner. I've added a report. Now, this customized page looks really different from the out-of-the-box experience because I put a lot of time in, in customizing it. But let's say that I get some feedback from my users where they want to customize even further. They want even more information on the page. They want me to go ahead and show the details in its own section. So it's really easy to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and open this page up in Lightning App Builder. So let's go into the top right and hit Edit Page. Now what my users are requesting is really going to require a new template. So I've got a couple of ways to do this. The first way is I can just create a brand new page and I can pick a new template and start from scratch. But we have a great new feature in Lightning App Builder where you can actually swap the template. So I've put a lot of work in and you can see I've got visibility rules. I have components on here that aren't standard. So what I want to do is I really just want to swap the template for this existing page. So this is really easy to do. So I have page properties on the right side. And you can see here that my template is a header and right sidebar. And there's a change button next to it. So I'm simply going to click that change button. And I get the library of templates that are installed in my org here. So I want some information to be front and center. So now I can pick this three re region template. So let's go ahead and pick this template. And I get the option to map, um, map my components to these new regions. I think that looks OK. Let's go ahead and hit Done and see what this looks like. So it's really easy to make this final set of customizations. So if you're not familiar with the App Builder, I get to drag and drop components on the page. And you can see they render exactly as my end users are going to see. I'm going to go ahead and make this change here where I take details and put it front and center because that's what my users want. And I'm going to go ahead and just remove this details tab. I think this is exactly what they want. Looks good to me. So let's go ahead and hit save. And we'll back out and let's take a look at what my end users are going to see. So here we go. Now I've got this fully customized page. I was able to swap out the template. 
and I think this is going to help them with their day-to-day -day jobs. Back to you, Kelly. Thanks, Michael. To wrap up, I'll leave you with another Lightning Strikes tip from the Trailblazer community. Download the Enablement Pack to get a PowerPoint that will help you increase the use and understanding of Lightning in your org. I love the Enablement Pack, and I'm using it as the basis of my training I'm going to give to staff. 